Hey guys, over here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 3 homework. So let's get started. Number one. Alright, so on each object, trace at least one pair of lines that appear to be perpendicular. So what does perpendicular mean? Perpendicular are, there are like two lines that intersect at right angles. So this is an example. So they make right angles. One, two, three, four. And even this can be perpendicular because they make a right angle. So any right angle there um, would be perpendicular lines. So first we have a table kind of. So what we need to do is look for right angles. Can't really find any here. But like at the end edge of the corner, you can see a right angle here. So that's perpendicular. Oh, and another one over here, the end, it's perpendicular. So these are some that are perpendicular. I don't know if you can really see that. Let me like, oh, I have a blue color pencil. We can see better that. Yeah. All right, so now we have our stop sign. So the T, our T over here itself is already perpendicular, but yeah, like one here, there's a perpendicular line here. So basically the ones that make right angles. And the P actually has one over here. All right, now our computer, the Chromebook, this one should be easy. I have one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. On our bookshelf, bookshelf, just look for books, the shelf, so like the books at the edge, like this one, they'll have right angles. Now our house, the door obviously be perfect example. And now this instrument was called xylophone or something. There's one in every part of it, pretty much. And now we have this building. There's right angles literally everywhere. <laughs> one right here. So yeah, you can just look for some of these objects. Now number two, let's switch back to our pencil. It says, how do you know if two lines are perpendicular? Well, if lines are perpendicular, they need to make like a right angle they need to make a right angle. So in order for two lines to be perpendicular, so I write perpendicular lines need right angles. So if there's a right angle, there are perpendicular lines. Our right, number three says, in the square and triangle grids below, Use a given segments in each grid to draw a segment that is perpendicular. Use a straight edge. So I don't have a straight edge with me right now, but we don't really need one. We can just draw. So just make a right angle with this. What you do, we can just draw one, draw one that way. So we made one right angle here and one right here. So this makes this perpendicular. Now right here, we can draw it forward. Right angle, right angle. So that, what, that's what makes this also perpendicular. All right, now over here, this part, move forward. This is perpendicular. So we can just do down. This is also perpendicular. So you just have to make a right angle. 
Right now, number four, use the right angle template you made that I created in class to determine which of the following figures have a right angle. Mark each right angle with a small square for each right angle you find, name the corresponding pair of perpendicular sides. Let's start with A. They did a little bit for us. Here, um, the line segments that make this right angle or the perpendicular lines are C, A, and A, B. But another right angle, we have one, two, three. So you can list them out. This right angle made, let's see, actually, two, C, A, um, C, D. And this one is made from C, D, um, to D, B. And this one, is D, B, to B, A, or A, B. So now let's look at B. See, I don't see any right angles so far. I see they're all um, acute and obtuse. So this one, you can just write, there are no right angles. All right, next one, C, the triangle, but we have one right angle over here. So line segments that make this right angle, it's G, O, and O, D. In D, we have an oval. So ovals, they have no corners at all. So there are no right angle and let's take a look at e this is a triangle they're all acute angles so this one there are no right angles all right f this is a rectangle so this has four right angles we want to list them out. First line segment here, it's P O P M. And this one is P M to M N. So this one then would be from M N to O N. And this one, last but not least, would be O N back to PO. All right, G, C. This shape, we have obtuse, obtuse, obtuse. So it looks like they're all obtuse. So this shape, right, there are no right angles. All right, now let's see H. Uh, so we have right angle here, right angle here, and right angles don't have to be inside the shape. So here, one here, one here, and it might not look like it, but at the end of the arrow, there's actually one right over there. So let's list out the right angle we have. First, this one, Y, Z, Z, T. And actually, this one, x, y, y, z. This one, it's w, x, x, y. And this one would be, let's see, v, w, v, u. And this one would be, see, this one, U T to Z T. Okay. Right, next page. Number five, use your right angle template as a guide and mark each right angle in the following figure with a small um wait a minute. Okay, with a small square. 
No, a right angle does not have to be inside the figure. How many pairs of perpendicular um, size does this figure have? All right, so see, we see one here, 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 here. It doesn't have to be inside the figure. So another one here and here, and there's one over here. So now, um, okay, so it doesn't ask us to label the um, sides, but it asks us how many pairs of perpendicular sides does this figure have? So we know perpendicular lines make up a right angle. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right angles. But the sides have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. But some of these sides aren't perpendicular. So how many pairs? Oh, I feel like we missed some of the right angles, do we? Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. I have one here and one here. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right angles. So that means we have nine pairs of perpendicular um sides. Alright, this figure has nine pairs of perpendicular sides because there are nine right angles. All right, and now number six, true or false? Shapes that have no right angles also have no perpendicular segments. All right, so draw some figures to help explain your thinking. We can first write, um, yes, because shapes that have no right angles, because what, when there's perpendicular segments, there has to be a right angle because perpendicular looks like this. So no matter what, they'll create a right angle, but there's no right angle. That means there's no perpendicular segment. So... Yes, because perpendicular lines will create right angles. So if there is no right angles there's no perpendicular lines so figure let's see a triangle because this one um actually triangle has one up top perpendicular up top sometimes well, actually sometimes, but this kind of triangle doesn't. Because if it's a right triangle, it has a right um, corner somewhere. But this triangle, because this part, it's like, you know, tell, this part, it's like a cube, a cube, a cube. So you say this, triangle has no perpendicular sides and no right angles. The one figure that does is, see, let's just draw a right triangle. So this triangle, triangle, has perpendicular lines so oh, 
so it has right angles. Okay. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!